today we will be talking about a problem which i was asked in an interview for a company in germany so it was a technical interview i was uh, and i was asked this question so let's see what the problem statement is so basically you have to write a function which will receive an input list and you know you have to convert that list into some other format so this is the input format which you will receive so it will be a list of integers but the but the thing to catch here is like the items inside the list can be another list right so for example at this fourth index you can see that we have another nested list and inside that list we have another list right so this can go to any nested levels so this will be our input okay so now what we need to do so we need to unpack this list we need to flatten this list so we return a list which will have all the elements of the nested list but the level of the list will be one right so basically this will be the output so it has popped out every item of the nested list and inserted it into the main list so basically this is the problem so now we will try to solve and address this problem and we will see how we can approach this problem before actually starting it so i would recommend you to just think about it as a real life problem don't think about the about writing the program about it in any language just think of it as a real world problem and how would you solve this problem on paper right so if i think about this i would say like i would i will need to iterate through the complete list of course and let's say if i find an item which is of type integer i will add it into the output list and uh, that's simple for that case but we need to think about the case where the item is not the integer but the list itself so for example if we are at the fourth index and we see this is not an integer this is a list so what we will do now right so i think what we did with first three elements here we also need to do the same with the nested list and then again same with the nested list right so this sounds to me like a recursive problem why because of the recursive structure of the of the input data so i think i would go for this problem and i would try to implement a recursive solution so let's start with writing a function uh, let's say i will call this function flatten list it will receive two parameters in list and out list so in list is this one input and out list is of course the list which will contain our result so first of all we need to iterate the whole list so i will just add a loop here right so what do we need to do now we need to add the items in the output list so i will just add the item in our output list simple right but the catch here is if the element is of type integer then this will work perfectly fine but what if the if the item is not of the type integer but it is the list right so we need some separate check here for that case so we will check if the item if the type of item is list this is how we check the data type in python there are other utility functions but for simplicity we can use this so okay so if if it is a list we will do something we will figure out it later let's just skip it for now and if it is not a list we will just add it into our output list and after when the, this function will be done we will have our result in this output list right so let's see we need to call this function so uh, I will just like call this function uh, so I need an input list so this is the input list with all the values I have mentioned here so this is the input list and we need another out list so initially that list will be empty so I will call this function with these two parameters
and if I print the output list after this line this should give me output something like this like this output I have shown above right so the only thing now we need to address is this case if the item itself is a list so let's suppose we we had this list right what would what did we do with this we just added it into our list right so if we need if we get another list inside the list what do we need to do we need to do the same we need to iterate every item and add those items in our into our output list right so this this is basically the the place where we think we need a recursive solution so what i will do here is i will call this function again so this function will call itself with same parameters not with the same parameters actually we need item here so item itself will be a list here so at the fourth index this item will have this list so it will pass this part to the, the to the recursive function so i will pass the output list which will be same and uh, yeah this is this is basically it this is our very simple solution uh, so let's let's see let's run it and see how how it works so okay so we need to command these two examples and another error here our list is not defined okay so here it is right so we can see that this this output and this output we actually received matches in which is our intended output right so so this was uh, like not a very difficult problem but the but the but what i think the interviewer wanted to judge was my ability to see how i, I approach the problems right if you get into the wrong direction maybe you will mess mess up your chances of showing your problem solving skills so it is very important to start to to think about the problem before starting it so i luckily or maybe based on my experience i approached the problem in 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 the right way so i brainstormed a little before starting the problem i recognized the pattern here which was a recursion and then i jumped into writing the code so that saved me a lot of time and it showed my quick uh, quick skills which i like i can pick up the problem quickly right so how you develop these skills is by practicing to be honest right you can you can get these skills like how you recognize the patterns like if it is a recursive recursive problem it, if it is an iterative problem which data structures do you need to use it all depends on your experience right you have to solve a lot and lot of problem solving questions of different difficulty levels and different types so you will you you will get familiar with all those you know all those categories and then once uh, you are done with that uh, whenever you will see a new problem most probably you will be able to identify the patterns and which will which will you know improve your problem solving skills a lot and which will improve your speed uh, to solve the problems which which is of course very important in during the interviews so i think i would strongly recommend you guys to go to hacker rank which i which is a platform and which i explained in my another video so go to the hacker rank try to perform different problems of different le of different difficulty levels and using different data structures different algorithms and whatever you you think is challenging for you so this is it for this video i will see you in next video with some new exciting challenges